Good morning and welcome to Nicole Sauce's Thought of the Walk. We are out with the dogs this morning on a beautiful fall day. It's a little overcast, but that's okay. It's going to get nice and sunny later. Good time to dry my clothes outside, which I love to do. It really saves on the propane bill when you can just hang dry your clothes. You know, going into winter on the homestead, because we heat with wood, I just hang the rack by the wood stove and my clothes dry in just a couple hours there. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, today I'm thinking about all the noise we got going on. I scanned the news headlines this morning. That was a mistake. Been gone since last Friday. We did the Self-Reliance Festival, all of those things. So, of course, I wasn't in touch with what was going on in the world. Read the news, and it just looks like a bunch of three-year-olds throwing a temper tantrum to me. That's the way the news looks, and it's noise. And I thought about how wrapped up people get in these th these temper tantrums that are being thrown out there and how wrapped up people get in thinking their opinion about whatever actually matters that their opinion has some relevance and should be inflicted on other people that it's somehow their business what other people do or what other people choose because the news tells them it is that's why and if you don't agree with me then you can just go sawed off, right? It's just a bunch of noise. And then other people who read that and don't have the opinion, the prevailing opinion and the prevailing winds that we have, people like that kind of start feeling, I don't know, not very confident or they feel like they're in a minority or they feel like they don't somehow, like other people don't think they have the right to have an opinion. That's probably not really true either. Some people do get wrapped about that. Most people are like, okay, you don't agree with me, whatever. There are some who are like, and we can't ever be friends again. Like, I literally saw a conversation on Facebook the other day between Larry Reed, who was the president of the Foundation for Economic Independence, Education, sorry, F-E-E, FEE, and he was, he had a picture of himself with George Wells, and so it was like, I can't believe you have a picture of yourself with that guy because he voted for Biden. And there was this conversation. George, uh, Larry was like, because Larry's a very reasonable guy, and he's a good, great critical thinker. If you haven't read his stuff, start reading some of the things that Larry Reed has, has written about economics and other things, about politics, about culture and society. Anyway, he was like, oh, for crying out loud, I can't disagree with somebody and still be friends with them. I'm like, get over it. And the person was like, this was such a fundamental difference that if you voted for Biden, we can't be friends. And I'm like, you're buying into the noise. You're buying into the noise. You have the mistaken opinion that whoever's in the White House is actually going to change things for the better, right? The whole political system is set up so that if somebody is in the White House who wants to change things for the better, they have a really hard time doing it because they have to disassemble the whole machine the whole machine and if they really took rapid steps at the beginning of their presidency to do that you know what would happen the machine would chew them up and spin them out we'd either find out that they were into like kitty porn and they get ripped out of office or something else would happen to block them that's the reality of how our political system set up and so if you start getting all distressed by the noise you know what you do you forget the one thing you can do to have a better life. And that is this. Go on your walk in the morning with your dogs. Take steps to increase your ability to take care of yourself and your community. That's it. Live your life the way you want to live your life. Don't worry about what other people think about you living your life. If you're somewhere where regulations are getting in your way, either figure out how to get rid of those which is a lot of work, or find a different way. Find a way to sidestep them, go rogue, move, I don't care. Find other people like me who support your ability and your decision to live your life how you want. It's none of my business. As long as it's not hurting other people, I don't care. You can like form a nudist colony and have weird orgies and that's fine by me. That's on your property not going to do that on my property but you can do it on your property none of my business and none of that noise matters because what matters is focusing 
on the things I need to get done today, focusing on the people I care most about, focusing on bringing our network together so that we can support each other, trade with each other, and be free together. Freedom's a choice, baby.